Hi guys. It is a glorious but windy day here in the collapse of global industrial civilization where it has finally happened. Somehow we have managed to get to the last day of the summer of 2021. Good Lord, and I'm sure you're going to be seeing all sorts of summer of 2021 uh, wrap-ups, talking about all of the various climate catastrophes, wildfires, floods, droughts, hurricanes, the usual crop. Good Lord, but that is just so uh, obvious. So again, as I said yesterday, I thought today I was going to be doing this rant about um, drawing all of these dots between uh, gas, natural gas prices, fertilizer production, uh, the knock-on effects with all of this freak out over there in uh, England about meat and soft drinks and all of that. But of course today, turn on the mainstream media and find out once again that was all just fear-mongering hype and uh, they fixed all of that over there in England. So your soft drinks and slaughtered animals to uh, drink and eat, uh, you are saved, all you carnivores and junk food junkies. Uh, I guess Boris Johnson or somebody has saved that so uh, glad I didn't waste my breath so anyway uh, as long as I was over on the mainstream media I think this one right here from NBC News is a fine way to wrap up uh, the summer of 2021 uh, <clears throat> actually Manga Bay being referenced in here because Manga Bay this was mentioned in my rant a few days ago titled from NBC News killed for defending our planet and this is NBC News looking at the single easiest uh, doomsday prediction I make every year you know every year for the past 10 years I make my predictions about the collapse of humanity and a planet and the easiest one that I make every year is that this year you will see more environmental defenders killed for defending our planet every year more and more of these uh, environmental defenders being um, gunned down and anybody who believes these numbers these numbers that are being reported i am quite sure are a tiny fraction of the number of people just being killed by these planet eaters a anybody thinking uh that these planet eaters will not just kill you uh for trying to get in their way i mean you know they they will well, they'll threaten to kill you. Uh, they will sue you. They will get you thrown into jail. Uh, you will, they will threaten you. They'll threaten your family. They'll burn your house down. Uh, and, of course, if you don't get the message, they'll just kill you. This is really... Uh, and, of course, the summer of 2021 has been an absolute killing frenzy. Okay, explain this to us. NBC News, here in today's Yahoo News, to wrap up the summer of 2021, killed for defending our planet. And as Manga Bay explained on Friday, Latin America is the deadliest place for environmentalists. So, of course, let's start out in Mexico City. <clears throat> Diana Gabriela Aranguren could not believe what the news was saying. She looked at her TV screen over and over, trying to understand how it was possible that her friend had been killed. 
quote, he had just made a post on Facebook at 6 p.m. to participate in an activity, and a bit later, the tragedy came on the news. As said Aaron Duran, a teacher and environmental activist, said about the death of Oscar Irald Adams, an indigenous Mexican activist and leader who was killed on September 24th. Oh, last year I was going, uh, I, I, I thought for a minute they were saying uh, that, that, that he was killed in three days from now. Uh, now he, this was going back here, he was killed on September 24, 2020 in Tecate, Baja, California. Uh, he had fought for the water rights of the indigenous Kumai who have been affected by the excessive use of the region's aquifers by large beer and wine companies. <clears throat> His social media posts, which were the last words he ever wrote, was a call for an event called, quote, looking for rain in the desert. So he made his post onto Facebook, and then a group of armed men entered his residence and shot him dead. The only thing they took was his cell phone in a notebook with his notes, at least 13 bullying, bullet casings of different calibers were found by authorities at the crime scene. The case of Irald Adams and many others were chronicled in a the latest report from Global Witness titled Last Line of Defense the Industries Causing the Climate Crisis and Attacks in, Against Land and Environmental Defenders uh, you know Global Witness is the main organization trying to uh, keep track of this uh, and as I say they're doing a better job than anybody but obviously uh, they're not getting everyone uh, let's see going uh, back to this interview with this teacher quote you never think that defending our right to water and life will lead to death. But in Mexico, the people who defend their territory and natural resources are being killed. They make us disappear and they criminalize us, close quote. Uh, in tw okay, in 2020, well, obviously the numbers are not in for 2021. In 2020, there were 227, you know, officially recorded deadly attacks against environmental activists, an increase in the historical figures since 2019, which, which before 2020 was the deadliest year for environmental activists with 212 murders. The most chilling data is in Latin America where 165 deaths took place, three quarters of the attacks. Almost three out of four attacks occurred in the region which include seven of the ten deadliest countries, Colombia with 65 deaths and Mexico with 30, lead the world ranking of murders of land and environmental defenders. Uh, so again, if you believe this for one minute, they're claiming Brazil showing 20 people killed in Honduras showing 17, so per capita, my guess is Honduras uh, 
is the most deadly for environmentalists, uh, environmental defenders. But again, anybody believing for one minute that only 20 environmental defenders in Brazil uh, in the year 2020, 20, my ass. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> at least 30% of the attacks are, re are related to the exploitation of resources and activities such as logging, the construction of hydroelectric dams, mining projects, and large-scale agribusinesses. Uh, so what does Bill McKibben, Bill McKibben uh, have to say about this? Quote, quoting Uncle Bill, <laughs> The people who are killed every year for defending their local populations were also defending the planet we share. In particular, our climate activities that flood our atmosphere with carbon, such as fossil fuel extraction and deforestation, are at the center of many of these murders, close quote. The logging and deforestation industry is linked to the highest number of murders in 2020, with 23 cases recorded in countries such as Brazil, Nicaragua, Peru, and the Philippines. Then, of course, uh, Global Witness claims this data does not reflect, quote, the true dimension of the problem, close quote, because restrictions on press freedom and coercive tactics such as death threats, illegal surveillance, intimidation, sexual violence, and criminalization can can contribute to an underreporting of assaults. Yeah, I, I bet by like 90%. Uh, all right. According to Global Witness, since the since the signing of the Paris Agreement on Climate Change in 2015, an average of four environmental defenders have been killed every week. Again, uh, it is a hell of a lot more than four. A bare minimum of four environmental defenders have been killed every week since the Paris Climate Agreement. <clears throat> For the second consecutive year, Colombia registered the highest number of activists killed, totaling 65 executions. The attacks occurred, according to the report, the attacks occurred in, quote, the context of generalized attacks against human rights defenders and community leaders. In many of the most remote areas, paramilitary and criminal groups increased their control through the exercise of violence, close quote. <clears throat> Do you think so? Almost half of Colombia's homicides were against people engaged in small-scale agriculture. And a third of the activists were indigenous or Afro-Colombians. All right, <clears throat> we have some corona panic connection here. Countries used the corona panic as an excuse to implement repressive methods against their populations. Quote, quote, uh, quoting the report, an opportunity, you know, using the corona panic as the cover story to take, quote, an opportunity to take drastic measures against civil society while companies advanced with destructive projects. 
close quote. The closures, meaning, you know, from the economic lockdowns and quarantines, made it easier to locate activists, quote, and that is why many of the homicides were perpetrated in their homes or in their surroundings, close quote. Um, this is Lords Castro in an interview with Mangabe. Paradoxically, Castro said, the violent people had the possibility to walk freely through the territories. And, uh, you know, Manga Bay uh, being one of the very few. It's good to see Manga Bay uh, being referenced here on NBC News. You know, as they were reporting last year that um, how completely unevenly these economic lockdowns and uh, quarantines and what were uh, were meted out that you know the little guys were locked in their homes and uh, blah 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 while uh, what was the guy what did the guy the environmental minister in Brazil was uh, caught saying uh, to to you know to use the corona panic for planet eaters to run the cattle through uh, any joke environmental uh, laws that uh, you know is right there the environment minister of of uh, of Brazil uh, that that's an ironic title you know just openly celebrating. Uh, the Corona Panic cover story to absolutely gut environmental regulations, give free reign to these planet eaters, and uh, so that is why so many of these people were gunned down in their homes. <clears throat> Another worry in case is the situation for Mexican activist. Uh, remember where officially 30 lethal attacks last year, which represents an increase of 67 percent compared to 2019 when 18 deaths were counted in Mexico. Uh, quoting the report again, Forest exploitation was linked to almost a third of the attacks, and half of all attacks in Mexico were directed against indigenous communities. Moreover, most of them go unpunished since 95% of murders in Mexico do not result in a legal case. 95% of people murdered in Mexico last year. And I, I don't think they're talking just environmental uh, leaders. I think they're just talking, you know, all around. Uh, th this is why, you know, Mexico has one of the highest homicide rates. My guess is on the planet that uh, more people are gunned down in Mexico every year for all kinds of reasons. And maybe it has something to do with the fact that 95% of murders in Mexico do not result in a legal case. Can you say Mad Max? Um, Gabriel Carrion, human rights manager of the Mexican Center for Environmental Law, said 2020 was the most violent year for environmental activists. Do you think so? As of July, um, her organization had registered 14 murders. As of July this year, um, her organization had registered 14 murders against environmental act activists. 
That same month, the Mexican Ministry of the Interior acknowledged that at least 68 human rights defenders and 43 journalists have been assassinated so far during Lopez Obrador's tenure as president. Uh, okay, let's draw some dots between all of this and climate change. We're going to go to Baja, California, uh, you know, looping back to the opening of this story. Heat kills Heat kills in the Mexican state of Baja, California. In 2019, at least eight heat-related deaths were recorded in Mexicali, uh, the state's capital. In 2020, the, that number has risen from 8 to 83. This is Jorge Zavala Hidalgo from the National meteorological service quote in the last 70 years the temperature in mexico has a clear and inclusive increasing trend in the last decade it has increased very rapidly and that rise is even higher than the average for the planet close quote the slain environmental activist air Irald Adams had lived through the region's soaring temperatures and lack of water. In 2017, he opposed the installation of the Constellation Brands Brewery, which, according to the company itself, would use about 1.8 billion gallons per year for their beer production. Um, said his friend, the environmental activist, uh, Aaron Gurin, quote, big companies have access to water much more, e you know, much easier than, uh, than the regular guys. Imagine that. Big companies have access to water much more, much easier. This is not fair because we need water to survive. Yes. Uh, he, he, meaning the guy gunned down, helped us make what is happening in Baja, California visible, but he paid for it with his life. It is sad because these murders take away our children's future's security. Yeah. Uh, there you go. We feel great fear because we have to keep fighting. There are still mega projects in this area that take away our water, but if we don't protest, no one will come to help us, close quote. And if you do protest, they will come and put a bullet through your head. Anyway, guys, this is why... Uh, I can already make the doomsday prediction for 2022. Uh, well, let's finish out 2021. As I said, on January 1st, more environmental activists will be murdered in the year 2021 than in any year in history until next year when 2022 more environmental land defenders or whatever you want to call them will be murdered next year than this year and of course whatever numbers you read will be a tiny hint of the actual number of how many uh, land defenders these planet eaters are taking out anybody trying to get in in the way of these guys they don't care. Anyway, uh, I gotta wrap up the last chronicle of the collapse for the summer of 2021 and get out there and start digging, get my shovel and start digging my uh, flood control channel before uh, I leave for the winter. I highly suggest you get out there on the last day of summer 
2021, put a shovel in your hand and start digging a flood control channel around your shack. Are you ready to start go do some digging? Bye guys. You got ear mites or what? You say, Papa, I've got the itchy ears. What do you got in your ear? Damn it, you got a, one of those things in your ear. Yesterday it was your mouth and now it's your ear. Bye guys.